everybody welcome back to the channel this is part two of a unexpected two-part series which is flower sculptures that I made uh, the first part of the video should have been you saw me make all of the things the flowers the baskets the bugs all of the things the second part we will make sure everything's glazed put together properly and ready to go to the store and then you get to see what happens at the store afterward this should be fun so again this is gonna be probably another long one I don't know we'll see how long it takes I'm trying to keep all of our videos down to 20 minutes or less it's the ultimate goal over here if you can hang on with me for the whole time awesome please do um, and if you like everything you've seen here so far give me a thumbs up I know the craft videos are the ones that aren't as popular so you know comments and thumbs up really do help so on with part two One supply I forgot to mention was an extruder tool. This will be used for all the details on the basket. I highly suggest using the updated one rather than the one shown here. I have a big block of white Sculpty 3 and I'm going to use this to make my next basket. These are the baskets that I have made so far. This part down here, the colors don't really make much of a difference because we're just gonna be covering that in floral foam anyway. So since we're using a block of white, the thing we need to do now is make sure that our tools are very clean because white contaminates so easily. I'm gonna take some time to clean out all our tools. So I have to clean all these, all the clay out of that. So just make sure that all your tools are super duper clean before you get started because you don't want to turn your white tan or anything. The pasta maker, right now we've got it at the widest setting. And, oh, let's see what I warned you about. This is going to be at the bottom, so it doesn't make a difference because it's going to be part of this bottom piece here. But when I'm doing anything else, I don't want any of that on there. So I cleaned out my tools as best as I can. I'm going to have to make sure that I wipe under there a little bit better I thought I had, than I thought I had done. Use a little bit of isopropanol. It evaporates really quickly. And be careful with your fingers under there, those blades are sharp. Try that again. Uh, ah, there we go. Nice and clean tools. Okay, then we're gonna use this one right here is gonna be for the bottom part of the basket weave. This part right here. See? And then we need to have regular round one. Then I'm gonna use this one for the braid on the top. I've been throwing scraps together and it's given me this kind of peach color. Like I said, it doesn't matter because I'm putting it in the bottom. I've been using the uh, top to my coaster here. And this will go in with my orange. I'm going to take yeah, my cutter here and I'm just going to kind of bend it slightly. And we're gonna cut some of the edge off and just turn it into more of an oblong than an actual circle. Okay, so for durability reasons, I have, have, I'm making another layer. All right, so we got our bottom piece that we're going to build our basket off of. I'm gonna put this to the side and start prepping the next part. This looks like a potato. So now I'm gonna make a bunch of these. Um, I also pulled out some, um, speckle textured and some silver. I thought that adding like a little gray accent into the white might be fun. Now I have the fun of using the extruder tool that I'm happy I replaced. Mr. Lucky. I'm happy I did. That was harder than it looked. Basket weaving is fairly easy once you get it going. The start is the hardest part and it's kind of slow going to begin with because you want to make sure that you have everything all lined up. But once you do, you can speed things up pretty quickly.
I'm currently redoing the basket weave because I wasn't happy with it. I felt it was too white. I wanted to add some darker gray in there to give it a little bit more character. So I'm just doing a reweave now. I'm just finishing trimming this up now. And then I'm gonna start to build my basket. Okay, and it's a little bit long. And I'm just laying this literally on the very, very edge and just pressing it in place. And we're not gonna need these last little bit here, so I'm just gonna cut that off. And then there it is. Got this, this is my base trim, so I'm gonna wrap that around and trim it down to make it fit in place as well. Uh, and also we'll be using it to hide some of that creamsicle color base and the rest. Now we've got that part done. I'm gonna make my braid for the top. So there's the beginning of my braid. with my braid here and this is for the upper the upper rim okay all right let's see if this will oh, oh my goodness i think we almost almost long enough ah oh, so close so close and because it's so close we can actually just squish it a little and elongate it this way go that did it okay and there we have it there is our basket and that is that how to to create these little baskets now I'm going to um, put now the, as you can see these ones have liners in them I'm gonna do the same thing for the inside of this just to give it a little bit more sturdiness. Okay, and I'm gonna use the scraps that I have from making the basket to make the inner lining. Okay, there it is, ready to bake off. Continuing our lovely glazing process. Everything is currently getting its second coat of glaze, and we are just about ready for assembling all of our leaves and pieces together. It's very exciting. But yep, that's where we're at. Oh, like, oh goodness, show me. Glazing all the things. Glaze the leaves. Okay, so there's that leaf. Do you hear this nonsense in the background? Alright, so there's the lily. Oh, that, that's all glazed. Okay, so this is what we have created during this. Okay, now it's time for assembly of our little pots. So I have put floral foam in the bottom of our pot and I have wrapped a large and medium rows together and I've just connected their wires together. Now I'm going to take the floral tape and disguise the wire with it. Okay, so got that done. I'm gonna put that to the side. Now we got some craft bond. So this is just spray adhesive. And what we're gonna do with this is we're going to stick our moss in place with it. This lovely moss I got at the craft store. So I'm just gonna give the the center of my little jar bought a glass spray adhesive. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the moss and I'm just gonna surround the bottom of this. Try to make it thinner in the middle because that's where our flower's gonna stick out of. Okay, so there it is. A little bit of moss in the bottom of our pot. Next, we stick our flower in there. There it is. Now I'm gonna take a pretty little leaf 
and I'm just going to stick it right there out of the side. So now I'm going to clip this to make it a, very, a rather short peg. And then I'm going to stick it right about there. And there it is! Oh! And here's one that I've made with a ladybug. Oh, I've been loving this already. So now we're going to create a little basket. I want to do the white basket. Yeah, we'll start with this. So let's get this started. You know what we're gonna do first? We're gonna be smart. Yeah, moss. Definitely moss. Yay, trial and error. We say that like we've spoiled kitties around here. All right, now we'll just start sticking stuff back in there. Okay, what do you, I, I don't know if it needs anything else, but this is the preliminary white basket. I'm gonna do the other ones and see if I can stick more into this one when I'm done. One ladybug hiding right in there, and now we need to pick a spider. I'm gonna grab the, sp the spider I made with the orange eyes. There we go. So now we've got the spider hidden right there, and the ladybug is hidden right there. What do you think? I think they're adorable. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna make the rest of them and we'll see. Quick story. On April 1st, I was dropping my flower-themed merchandise off at TL6 when Jen informed me it was a people's choice contest and pick a basket to submit. We chose this one. As for the surprise, there was a post on Facebook saying I won. So now we have to go to TL6 and find out what I won. prizes around here anymore. Did you win? Uh, I won a gift certificate and a bottle of hot sauce. Ooh, what? Sauce. Yep, or it's um, for is was it Mexican restaurant? Yeah, it's yeah, Mexican, Mexican restaurant. No problem. Whoa, we could go there right now. We could. You want to ditch the kids and let them get pizza? <laughs> we could. Okay, so now you guys know I won. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. I literally walked in there with that little basket and handed it to Jen and, and Jen said, pick one for the competition. I went, that one. She said, that's the one I would have picked. I'm like, I'm gonna lose. So there it is, <laughs> but I won. I don't know. I, I still don't know how to react because I'm not used to winning things. So yay. As always, from all of us here at the channel, take care, be safe, bye! Thank you for watching. 
Hey, want to subscribe? You can click on the purple Christmas tree. Not sure you want to subscribe yet? You want to see more content first? You can click on this video over here. Until next time, take care and be safe.